Hey guys, welcome to the second video of this tutorial. Now, if you missed the first one, I'm talking about Google Web Designer. It's a, it's a new application from Google. It's still in beta and it's kind of a, a web design application with a visual interface and it allows you to create even HTML files, CSS files, but most of all, it's really good at creating ads. So that's what I'll do in this video, create a very simple uh, animated ad and uh, show you some of the controls. So we'll start here with file new. Uh, we'll select banner, it's the default option uh, for environment. I'll, uh, I'll stick with double click studio um, option here. Dimensions, you have a few presets, but I'll choose custom and we'll do about 500 by 450. Okay, I'm going to entitle this WD Tuts. Okay, this is the location where uh, the files will be saved. And also animation mode refers to how the timeline for the animation will be presented. We'll, uh, we'll do some, uh, some effects here. So go ahead and choose advanced. Click OK. And this is the the main stage. All right, so let's start with the with the logo first. I have one saved. So I'm just gonna drag and drop. Okay, and make sure you have aligned stage checked. And then I'm simply going to do some uh, some basic alignments. Left top, I'm going to set it to maybe 50 pixels. Okay, something like that. Now, once you hit preview, it's going to view it in the browser. All right. Now let's add some animation to this. So let's say I want to, I want the logo to fade in from the top, right? So I can click on the logo. And I can go right here. And say logo where it says ID. And keep in mind, this is the actual HTML ID for the element. So if we take a look at the code view, we notice an IMG with the class and the ID of logo. All right, I'm going to go over here in the timeline. And I'm going to click right click and say insert keyframe. So as you can see, it already created an action. Now, what I need to do is this, I'm going to select the first keyframe and it's blue right now. So that means it's selected. I'm going to move this to the top, just like that. I'm going to align it with the stage, I'm going to set its opacity to zero. And on the next keyframe, it should be right here with opacity one or 100%. All right, so now if we click on play, we get the uh, the animation. What about some other effects like right click on on uh, on the animation, easing, and you can select multiple effects or multiple ease values. So let's select the ease in out, apply, play again. And notice it has a bit of a different uh, animation. All right. Now, once you do this, I also want some text to appear. So grab the text tool, click, and I'm going to paste in um, just uh, just some text here, which is a tagline for web design tuts. So in depth tutorials and articles on web design. Now I, I, I want a different font for this. So select the text tool again. And the cool thing about the Google web designer is that it's integrated with the Google web fonts. So you need to select the text tool. And then click on this F plus button, add web fonts. So when you click it, you can uh, view all the Google web fonts. Uh, and then you can just uh, add your own fonts. I'm just going to select doses here. It's a very nice font, click OK. And now you can go ahead and use it. Text tool again, double click inside this one, command or control A to select the text, and then simply choose uh, the font. I'm going to click on doses here. I'm going to make this an H1. Yeah. 
and I'm gonna align it in the center like that. Remove the bold and maybe change its color like uh, maybe this gray or this one. Okay, so let's align this in the middle and let's go over here. Make it actually a bit smaller. And let's see, I'm going to move it about about this much. This doesn't have to be exact. It's uh, it's an example anyway. Now, what I want is after the logo has finished its animation, I want this to to fade in. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm actually going to give it an ID of title. And as you can see now, it says div with an ID of title. So I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to go over here, where you see the, uh, the div that's selected. And I'm going to click insert keyframe, I'm going to move it by holding and dragging. And notice this, uh, this line over here, that's uh, basically a delay. It's the amount of time that passes until the animation is started. So at first, I want this to be opacity zero. And right here, it's going to be opacity 100%. Again, change the easing, ease in out, you can also create a custom one, you know, just drag these, uh, these handles right here and create your own animation. Let's go with this one. Save and hit play. And there it is. All right, now, once this is complete, I also want like a call to action, a button of some kind. Let's create like a, like a separate div right here. Yeah, something like that. Let's also um, color it. Maybe, maybe something like that. And then text tool, click inside it. And let's say, start learning now, align it in the center. For uh, the font, we'll, we're going to stick with doses, make it bold. And for color, let's do maybe something like this. And also increase the font size a little bit. Since it's called action, and it should be big and bold. All right, now, uh, maybe a bit of padding here. And this padding control is actually uh, very similar to to the other input controls along the interface, because you can do this padding 10 pixels, hit enter, and it applies to every other corner. But you can click on this one, and it's going to unlink them. So you can have, for example, 20 pixels on uh, on the left, click again, and it's now locked, change this again to 15, and it changes them all. So let's, uh, let's leave this at about 20, 10 and 20. All right, something like that. Let's make this a bit smaller. All right, that's a pretty good looking uh, button, align it. Okay, and this one, I want it to appear after this animation is complete. So I'm gonna give it an ID of CTA, or a call to action. And I'm gonna create an, a keyframe here. Let's start over there. Again, easing, let's do ease in out. And again, this will be this will have its opacity reduced. Now, of course, you can play around with the initial states in a lot more ways than just the opacity, you can change the text color, you can change the background color, right. So for instance, um, if I wanted to to change from red, to yellow, I can do this. Right, so now it changes from red to yellow, even though it, 
uh, it, it changes pretty fast and you can't see it, but it's, uh, it's totally possible. So let me change back. All right, let's, uh, let's hit preview. All right, pretty good. Now, all that's left to do is actually make this button work. And to do that, probably the best way is to create an action. So what I'm going to do is go to components. I'm going to scroll down here. Let me just show you. And I'm going to select the tap area. Now, tap area means either click or uh, tap with your finger if you're viewing the ad on a mobile device. So I'm just going to position it over, over the button. Yeah. And I'm going to go to events, click on the plus in the events panel, and it's going to open up this window. Now select the source. It's going to be tap area one on touch click environment, which means basically the whole ad and the action. Well, you have uh, a number of uh, a number of actions. We're going to choose exit on a metrics ID, exit ad on the URL. We're going to put in the URL for our website and hit save. All right, now save again. And once you preview it, notice the cursor has changed. So when you click it, it will open that website. So that's pretty pretty good. Now you can also do this with a normal link, right? So for example, click on the text, click here to open window. That's not a very good title, but you get the, you get the point. Yeah, so just uh, position this. And you can click the text tool again, and hit this little button right here that says create hyperlink. Right, so paste the window again, open this link in a new window, click OK, preview, right? And now if you click it, it will also go to the website. So two different ways. It really depends on you which one you want to use. And that's how you create a basic, uh, a basic ad. Uh, let me just show you the code view for now. So we have a, a normal HTML5 doc type. And then all the style is uh, is inline. It's placed in a style tag, and you have everything here. You have the image size, the positions. You have the keyframes here, the tap areas. Also, a link added automatically to include the uh, the Google font you used, and then the um, HTML for the whole page. Div, div, image and all the other elements. Now notice that uh, this, uh, this code is pretty clean. Uh, most people complain about about the code generated by these, uh, these applications, but this one looks pretty good. Apart from you know, the, the funny class names, it's, it's pretty clean. I think it, uh, it does the job properly, especially when uh, the ads you create or the pages you create basically look the same on browsers on uh, on PCs and mobile devices. So that's a, that's a pretty important factor. Now, whenever you're making one of these, uh, one of these ads, for example, you can hit a publish. And you're taken to the publish window where you're uh, given a summary, the environment used file type, uh, the raw and compressed size, how many files you have, and then the name of the zip file some options to create zip minify, and also some CSS vendor prefixes. So let's hit publish. And I'll just go back here. Notice WD Tuts zip. So uh, open this. And let's see, we have our logo, which is included as an image, and then the index HTML. Alright, so uh, let's, uh, let's open this in the browser. Let's see if it loads. And yes, it does. Uh, so there you go. That is the ad we just created. So uh, that's about it for the second video. It was a bit long. Sorry about that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in uh, in the comments if you if you like the uh, the application. If you think that's gonna 
that's going to be something useful for you if you're going to use it. I think it will be a, a very interesting discussion. Again, uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila. See you around. Bye-bye.